Hey everybody, welcome back to our volcano experiment. This is part two. Uh, today we are going to be using um, flour water uh, to make our paper mache paste. Uh, we also need our microwave. So what I have right now, I have my microwavable dish. I'm going to put two cups of water into the microwavable dish. All right, there we go. All right, now this is the next part. You will need flour for this, okay? I have my measuring cup. I need one cup of flour. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Now when you put your flour into the water, it's gonna be kind of chunky, all right? So what you can do to help with that, you're gonna need um, either a fork or a whisk to help mix in the flour and the water. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I just put it in, very chunky, not mi mixed very well. So I'm gonna take a whisk, you can use a fork, like I said, and I'm just gonna kinda get all those chunks out, all right? Be careful, because it may come out of the container. Just make sure you have a big enough container to put at least three cups of ingredients inside. So I'm gonna whisk this, all right, till it's kinda smooth. There might be a little, there might be some chunks in there, which is fine. Just whisk it until there's not as many chunks in there. All right, now, need the microwave, okay? We're gonna microwave this twice, once for um, once for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the microwave and I wait. All right, so. We have microwaved it for 30 seconds. It's a little bit warm, but not too bad, All right? I'm gonna take my whisk again. I'm gonna whisk some more to get more of those uh, bigger chunks of flour all mixed up into the water. Notice it's getting a little bit thicker. All right, that's a good sign. I'm gonna keep going for a little bit. And I noticed that a lot of my little chunks are gone. I still some, but I'm gonna also microwave this again for the last time, and now I'm gonna do it for 40 seconds, okay? And for 40 seconds on the clock, and go. All right. Now, this is a lot warmer than it was the first time, okay? Not too bad, but you don't wanna put your hands in there, all right? I'm gonna whisk it up some more, get all those chunks out as best we can. It's not gonna be perfect all the time, but at least get most of them out. Make sure you try to get the edges of the bowl or the dish you have. All right, it looks like it's pretty good. Now we're gonna go over to the table and finish making our paper mache volcano. All right, we're back. All right, I have my paper mache paste I have. Today we're also gonna be needing more newspaper. Okay, so make sure you have that. We're gonna need a bunch, okay? Because today we are gonna be making strips of paper and putting them with paper mache and then having it uh, go along our volcano, okay? Uh, just to show you, over the weekend, I had the other bottle, the, the 20 ounce bottle, and this is how it came out. It looks pretty good, okay? Today I'm gonna show you how we can make this nice ring around the top of the volcano, the vent, if you will, and then we're gonna let are ours dry for the couple next couple days and then it should turn out something like this all right so let's go so right now our all these paper balls really doesn't look that great okay so but after a while it will okay so just trust the process like i've been saying all right if any of your uh, papers came off feel free to take them back on okay now i'm going to show you how i made that how i got the the vent on the top of the volcano to look kind of nice, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold some paper onto itself, kind of make like a ring, or make, well, eventually it's gonna be a ring, okay? So I just kind of folded it, and now I kind of want to put it together, okay? So depending on the uh, type of bottle you used, if it was 20 ounce or two liter, you might have to make the ring smaller or bigger, okay? So here's my paper ring, and guess what? I'm gonna set it right on top, okay? This is gonna act as my opening. All right, to the volcano. And then from now on, from here, I'm gonna be taking strips of paper and um, putting them into our paper mache paste. Um, I will suggest that you do put a piece of newspaper underneath 
your paper mache paste because it is going to get a little messy. So if you're able to do this outside, awesome. Um, but if you're doing it inside, just try to have something underneath uh, the paper mache paste container. Uh, it's only flour and water. It's not going to damage anything, but um, just so it's an easier cleanup at the end. All right. So first, I'm going to take a um, piece of newspaper. I'm going to kind of you can use scissors for this or you can just um, shred it with your hand and I'm going to make a strip out of it. All right. Now, um, I kind of want to put this. I want to take this in half. OK, you only need about a foot long, especially if you're doing the 20 ounce bottle. You're only going to need a foot long or so to uh, layer on top or on uh, the side of the volcano. So what I'm going to do, make sure everything's intact. All right. Now, what well, easy way you can do this, let me get rid of my spatula. Easy way you can do this, take your one hand, put it in on one side. All right. I'm not drenching it completely in there. But on one side, take your thumb and your pointer finger and kind of take off any um, extra that you don't need. Put the top in there, okay. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my one top of it, kind of tuck it into that ring and let it kind of droop over the side, all right? Now it doesn't look great right now, but it will eventually once everything dries, all right? So I'm gonna keep on doing that. Go around the side. Notice that there is, there might be a gap, um, but we can make sure we can take care of that later. All right, so I just wanna make sure we can see it flowing around the edge of the volcano. I'm gonna make some more. Now I'm gonna use this longer piece because I do have a little crazy in the back here. And now with your bigger volcanoes, if you did get the two liter bottle, I made a, a bigger, I'm gonna have a bigger piece or bigger strip of newspaper. Okay, do the same thing. Make sure you get all the excess off, but this is gonna make my uh, life a lot easier um, when I'm trying to put this on the, on the side of the volcano, okay? I'm do it like that, okay? I'm just gonna angle my camera so you can see exactly what my volcano is looking like, all right? Once again, I have a little bit bigger of a piece. Take all the excess off and put it on the side, okay? Make sure you kind of tuck the, the first pieces inside that ring that we made on the top, just so that stays anchored and that can kind of be your base, all right? So I'm going to continue with all this and then um, I'll see you once I'm done and hopefully you can do the same exact thing. All right, just a quick note. Um, as I'm going around the entire side, I wanna make sure I'm getting um, each side kind of started. And I notice that I do have some gaps. Um, we are gonna be able to fill that in um, with more paper as we go down. Feel free to put it to the side, like stick it to the side, that's totally fine. Uh, I just kinda wanna make it smooth um, and make sure that no of uh, the paper balls are sticking out, okay? So let's continue.
All right. So I went around my volcano. I checked to see if I could see any holes in there, and then all I did was just put a piece of paper, put the paper mache over it to cover any holes so you don't see any of the paper balls. If you didn't notice, I was going around the bottom of our volcano here um, just to make sure everything got onto the cardboard if there was room. If you don't have room and it goes over, that's fine. All right. So now everything looks pretty good. I don't have any noticeable holes yet. And even if I did, oh, maybe here's one. And if I did, when this dries in the next day or two, uh, you can go back and put more paper mache on if you like uh, to cover up any other um, holes or whatever. So that's our, that's our steps uh, for this one. So that was step five um, and six. So the five, step five was we made our paper mache and step six was we put the paper mache on our um, paper balls in our volcano. So we're gonna let this dry for the next couple days and I will see you for part three. Thank you.